Hi, I'm Marty Switzer. With me today is John Tringali from WCM Investment Management. G'day, John. G'day, Marty. So today we're going to be talking about a company called Canadian National. Mm -hmm. Tell us about these guys and what they do. Yeah, so Canadian National Railway, they're one of really only a couple of rails in North America that connect the east and west coasts of Canada, and then also the northern and southern borders down uh, through the United States. And so why is there a, a railway company uh, in the WCM portfolio, and how does it fit the investment criteria in terms of competitive advantage mm -hmm. and culture? Yeah, well, starting with their competitive advantage, you know, rails are kind of a sleepy good industry in our view. Yeah. You know, number one, it's an oligopolistic structure. You know, Canadian National com competes with Canadian Pacific. Um, they're, you know, they're highly regulated. Uh, they're not really allowing anyone to lay more track, right? So that actual infrastructure of the rail track is a huge competitive advantage. Yeah. And how is it growing? Really, we continue to see rail stealing market share from trucking. You know, trucking, there's constantly a shortage in drivers. Uh, they have to deal with congestion, heavy traffic. Um, you know, fuel prices are a bit more unstable. Mm. And so we're seeing over time more and more of this goods production or goods transportation shipping to rail. And Canadian National is really best in breed in terms of their combined ratio, their, their efficiency, uh, and you know, how, they, how they do business, how they avoid accidents. Um, they've really culturally uh, made a big turn when rail great Hunter Harrison took the helm in the early 2000s. And he implemented this idea of precision railroading which has really become the gold standard in the industry, which is all about improving that operating efficiency a little bit each year, um, finding ways to you know, avoid accidents, get trains on time more, so you get kind of your, your full pay, and, and again, just kind of constantly get better, continuously improve. You know, and when you think about cultures, there's very different things we look for culturally in different industries. You know, if we're talking about a retailer, for example, we might be talking about the importance of happy employees so that they'll provide good customer service and customers will come back. In a business like railroading, it's all about that precision, that more militaristic command and control. Can you attract and retain high performers who can help you hit those really aggressive targets each year? And Canadian National has been brilliant at that. John, thanks for your time. Thanks, Marty.